we are going to make a video right now. Okay. Me and you. Okay. okay? Okay. Say, say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Yeah, that's right. So me and my son are on my way, on our way, to go pick up his grandma. She's gonna babysit. She's gonna babysit for us. And uh, I have to go get my permit. And I have to go get um, a medical card. Well, medical card, then permit. That's how the order's gonna go. So go ahead and get in, bud. Get it in your car seat. Are you in? I can't even tell. So let me strap him in real quick. I'll be right back. And you guys can stare at my truck. I'm all yelling like you guys can't hear my audio. That's the cool thing about external mic. I started to yell and I was like, wait, wait, wait. There's an external mic. So you guys are going to be able to hear even if I'm far away. So that's awesome. It's the greatest thing in the world. Say, say, external mics are cool. External mics are cool. Yeah, they are because, you know. All right, buddy. You strapped in tight? All right. So. All right. Let's put you guys in your carrier. Oh, do I have sunglasses? Or did I take my sunglasses inside? Son of a bitch. Did I take my sunglasses inside? Sunglasses, 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 sunglasses. Ah. It must be Google Maps or something. I bet you that's Google Maps. I wonder if I'm going to be in that in Google Maps. But it, it looked like it was a contracting car, but there was two cameras on the side of it. Like, there was a dude driving, as you guys saw, and then there was a d two dudes in each passenger seat, and they were, um, yeah, they were driving. And they had cameras facing out, so I bet you that's uh, Google Maps. I bet you that's what it is, it's Google Maps. So maybe I'll be on Google Maps when you guys search it, you know, I'll be like, hey, look. I'll even put a link in the description if I'm in Google Maps. Eventually, eventually, if I'm in Google Maps, there will be an update video to this video of me being on Google Maps. So, whatever. Who cares? It's not even a big deal. But I know every single person out here has always wanted to, like, you've searched. You have searched for your house. I don't care who you are. When Google Maps came out, I think the very first thing that I did is I searched my home address. And I was like, oh, look, there's my car. There's my house. There's my trees or whatever. But yeah, that was the first thing I ever did is I always looked at like, I looked for my mom's house. I looked for um, my house or my apartment at the time actually. And it was funny because there was one point in time where my car was in three spots. Um, one was at my work, one was at my apartment and one was at my mom's house. And I'm like, how could I be at three places at the same time? It was kind of cool to see my rides on Google Maps. And then they updated it, and then all of my cars disappeared. Like, I can't find any of them now. I just thought of something. If they were doing Google Maps in my neighborhood, I could have been out in front of my house and be like, hey, 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 or whatever. Like, <laughs> that would have been a great thing to do. I didn't even think of it. Shit. Hey. That's all right. I always hate it when it's when it gets twisted. Hmm. Regular. I don't ever put premium. Shut up. Look at that old school Trans Am. Well, it's not really that old school. That's not old, old school, but that's old school to the new generation. It's not old school to me. That's actually new school, but I don't like those cars. Did you guys see my, up my nose? I only put 10 bucks in, because that's all I can afford. Come on, 949, 950, 53. I hate it when it goes that slow. like a cent at a time you know like can we at least man I'm not nagging you guys at all <laughs> can we do like two cents at a time or some shit hey look a sheriff 
He's probably gonna go get to do some traffic control. He's got a big ass gun on the back. Big ass gun. Wait for the clicks. Oh! I was sitting on my sunglasses the whole time. Hey! Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so happy. Dude, my I fucking smell gas. Do you? There was nothing that could have happened to my car while I was out there. But I smell it like, like it's on me. <laughs> is it on your camera? Is it on the camera? Dude. I think it's probably on me. But I just can't tell. I did take the thing and put it back. It's not in, I remember clicking the thing. So, I don't know why I smell gas. It's probably on me. I probably stepped in some gas. Probably on my shoes. Whatever. Not a big deal. Holy crap, guys. You guys know what just happened right now? I went to the DMV and I walked in there and I'm like, ooh, you know, I need to take my CDL test, my permits, and get my Class 8 permit. And she pulls up my record and she saw that I was suspended for my Class B, or my, my, my CDL, period. And... She says, well, you want to get your whole permit again? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, why? I'm like, what do you mean, why? I said, I'm going to a uh, truck driving school in Missouri, and I need to get my, my permit so I can drive a semi. And she goes, well, yeah, but you already have a CDL, so why did you want to do it all over again? I'm like, I, I, I just told you, woman, I'm going to truck driving school, and, and I don't have a CDL. I, I let it go. It's suspended. She goes, no. If you pay 30 bucks, we reinstate your privileges. And then from there, then th what that means is basically that I can get a CDL now. But because I already had a CDL, and it was, not, it was within a year of my suspension for because of medical card. It wasn't anything else. It was just medical. Because I was suspended for the medical card, and then I just now supplied them with a medical card, I could have paid 35 more dollars to get my CDL back, my actual commercial driver's license back. But the problem I was thinking was, I was like, well, what's the, what's the point of that? Because I'm, I'm intrastate, I'm not interstate. And she goes, no, you're interstate. I'm like, what do you mean I'm interstate? I was told to put intrastate. She goes, well, I don't know who convinced you, but someone convinced you to keep so you're all, she says, you're all, you know, 50 states. You can drive a school bus in Hawaii and Alaska all over. And I was like, are you, are you serious? So that was a little glitch, man. I was supposed to be intrastate in, in Arizona only. That's what I was told when I first started, um, working. But apparently somebody had convinced me otherwise, or a mistake was made. Maybe not on my part. Maybe it was on my part that I can drive with my CDL a school bus from here to freaking Maine if I wanted to, okay? Well, now that I have my CDL back, she says all I have to do to become a semi-driver is get my permit, take my permit for my combination, and then go to truck driving school and get my license for my combination. And then the class B just goes to a class A, but I get to, I keep my school bus, my passenger, and I can drive pretty much anything. So, but the school bus, school bus passenger, school bus non-passenger is an endorsement. And I just keep that endorsement on there. So I have my class A, my combination, my school bus, my passenger, and all this stuff. So in a, in a, in a way, I'm kind of already ahead of the game. So I'm like, Okay, okay. So the only other problem that, that was ran into was if Missouri wants me to start all over, meaning, which it, to me it doesn't make sense because I have an interstate license, but if they wanted me to start all over again and I had to take it all over again, everything, air brakes, everything, 
and it would still be the same license, meaning I'd still have a class, I'd still have a school bus passenger, school bus non-passenger license. I just don't, I don't think it would make sense if I'm, if I'm interstate all over the place, I don't think it would really matter, but Missouri doesn't accept permits, I guess, from Arizona. I guess it's not transferable. You can't have a permit and it's not a transferable permit. So anyways, that was exciting. It's exciting news that I got my license back. All I had to pay was 65 bucks. I got my class B back. I am a CDL holder as of today. I wasn't even going in there planning on having a license. I was going in there and getting my permit. I honestly was planning on failing because it's been a while since I've had my license, but I'm going to study up. I'm going to read this book again, and I'm just going to see what happens. And, and hopefully my recruiter calls me back. I left a message. Hopefully my recruiter calls me back and says, oh, you have your CDL. It's your class B. We're just going to come and scoop you up. And then just, you're just going to take your permit here, your test in here in Missouri for your combination vehicle. So anyways, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Bye.